How does the U.S. handle immigration for individuals with family-sponsored preferences? The United States has a family-sponsored immigration system in place to allow you citizens and lawful permanent residents, green card holders, to bring their immediate and extended family members to the country. Here is a breakdown of the family-sponsored preferences and the general process for obtaining a U. Visa through family sponsorship. Immediate relatives. This category includes spouses of U. Citizens, unmarried children under the age of 21 of U. Citizens, and parents of U. Citizens who are at least 21 years old. There is no numerical limit on the number of visas available for immediate relatives. And the process generally involves filing an immigrant visa petition and then applying for an immigrant visa or adjustment of status. Family preference categories. These categories apply to more distant family relationships and have numerical limitations on the number of visas available each year. The preferences are as follows. A. F1. Unmarried adult children, over 21, of U.S. citizens. B. F2A. Spouses and unmarried children, under 21, of lawful permanent residents. C. F2B. Unmarried adult children, over 21, of lawful permanent residents. D. F3. Married children of U.S. citizens. E. F4. Siblings of U.S. citizens. The process for family preference categories involves the U. Citizen or lawful permanent resident filing a petition for their relative, who then waits for a visa number to become available based on the visa bulletin published by the U. Department of State Once a visa number is available, the relative can apply for an immigrant visa or adjustment of status. 3. Visa process. The visa process typically involves several steps. Immigrant visa petition. The U. Citizen or lawful permanent resident sponsor files a Form I-130. Petition for alien relative. With the U. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, to establish the family relationship. Visa Availability. For family preference categories, the applicant must wait for a visa number to become available. The availability is determined by the priority date, which is the filing date of the immigrant visa petition. National Visa Center. NVC. Once a visa number is available, the case is transferred to the NVC, which collects the necessary documentation, fees, and forms from the applicant and schedules an interview at the U. Embassy or consulate in the applicant's home country. Visa interview. The applicant attends an interview at the U. Embassy or consulate, where they are required to provide additional documentation, undergo a medical examination, and answer questions regarding their eligibility for the visa. Visa issuance. If approved, the applicant will receive an immigrant visa, allowing them to enter the United States as a lawful permanent resident. Alternatively, if the applicant is already in the U, they may apply for adjustment of status to become a green card holder without leaving the country.
It's important to note that the specific requirements and procedures may vary depending on individual circumstances and changes in immigration laws and policies. It is advisable to consult with an immigration attorney or refer to the official USCIS website. USCIS Gov. for the most up-to-date and accurate information. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. And let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.